Okay, we're going to find the square root of 54,756. So let's do that like we know. Let's start with our five ten thousands and we'll build a square. And so we built the square of two. So we had five ten thousands. We used four. We have one left. And we know that the first digit in our root is going to be two. Now let's bring down the next period. I want to pause here for a minute and think about what we're going to do next. What category are we going to use first to start building out our square? We're going to use our thousands and those thousands are going to create a rectangle. And then what category are we going to use to build out the rest of the square? We're going to use hundreds and that will build a square. So actually, what I can see is the thousands are going to determine the size of our next square because it's how big of a rectangle I can build that will determine the size of the square. So we have these 14 thousands to build rectangles and we know it's gonna have a side of two on this side and two here as we build those two rectangles. So if I took this 14 and divided it by that 4, the number that we'd have to put, build out for the sides, I should get the uh, how many times we could build that out. So 14 divided by 4 is going to be 3 with some left over. So I'm guessing that our next root digit is three. I'm going to circle this. We won't know for sure till we build the square, but let's see. So what square did we build? We built the three square, so we were right. Three is the next digit in our root. And how much did we use? We used 129, which leaves us with 18 hundreds left. Now let's bring down this next period on paper and bring it down here on our board. What we're going to need to build next are these red rectangles and they are actually going to determine the size the uh, size of our square they'll that's going to be these rectangles that do that so let's not think about these units and just think about what it's going to take to build these rectangles we have 185 tens and to build out here, we're going to have 23 on this side and 23 on this side, so 46. So if I divide 185 by 46, we should get our trial root. And that should be 4. And a little bit, you know, with some left over. So let's see. We'll circle that because that's what I anticipate it's going to be. Let's see if we're right.
So we were right about that. Now we can use this method anytime we do square root to anticipate what the next uh, root digit is. Let's try another one.